The tugboat, for its size, is the most powerful craft afloat. And the star tugs are the power behind the docks and waterways that make up the big city port. This is Tugs. The big city port was in the grips of winter. It had come earlier than expected, and with it came the fog. None of us like fog, but in those days, it was worse. Tugs had no radio and no radar. Long periods of fog had a way of conjuring up old sea stories and superstitions among the boats of the harbor. I remember Big Mac returned quite late. He'd been working all day with Scuttlebutt Pete, who'd and telling him old sea stories of strange things that happened when fog was around. As he passed derelict buildings, they seemed to take on ghostly shapes. They groaned and creaked as if they were alive. As Big Mac came close to an old warehouse, he heard a whisper which grew louder. Hello? Hello? Who's I? Uh... Oh, I'm getting all fast. I've got no fog. Oh, Tugs, thank goodness for... Who's that? Who's that? I don't know anything. Can't hear their engines. That's funny. There's a ghost fleet that Scuttlebutt beat talked about. Ghosts. It was too much for Big Mac. Forgetting safety, he charged into the fog and made his way through the dark shapes of moored boats and trampers, trying to make sure the ghost tugs weren't following him. He was soon back at the star dock. No, darling, you know better than to travel in fog at that rate of knots. You're right. You look as if you've seen a ghost. I, I well, I saw something. I. I no, I can't tell you. You'll only laugh. What? Oh, look, come on. We weren't even serious. Well, I have seen ghosts. What? You've seen what? Ghosts. You know Scuttlebutt's story about those tugs that sank in the great storm of 1912? And I come back to get you. Oh, Big Mac. You're not taking Scuttlebutt's story for real, are you? Aye, well, I'm not going out there again till the fog lifts. <laughs> well, I never thought I'd hear that from a harbor tongue. Well, he, he could have seen something. There could be ghosts. You never know. No, oh, don't be ridiculous, really. Early the next day, the Starfleet all had their orders. As they moved out, they were giving Big Mac a hard time about his ghosts. You I shouldn't have told him. I just knew it. Don't mind them, the fog plays funny tricks on us. Nothing really to worry about. Long as you mind what you're doing, keep your wits about you. But, uh, ghosts, Big Mac. <laughs> I could have been seeing things, seemed real enough mind at a time. That evening, Warrior was making his way back to port. Some shrimpers were following, using him as a guide through the fog. Hey, Warrior! You sure you know your way? Of course I do. Do you trust me or don't you? A bit of fog's nothing to worry about. I've got a natural sense of direction. If we were running into anything, I'd know. Cool. Where'd it come from? Phew. That was lucky. Better head out a bit. Warrior swerved violently, just in time to miss the mud bank. But the shrimpers were not so lucky. <laughs> When you can't see, what the... Oh, 
corpse. Who are they? I don't believe. Yes, I do. It is. It's one big mag saw. The ghost fleet. It's a ghost fleet. Izzy Gomez, the old tramper, had failed all day to get a cheap toe into port. So he decided to try and sneak in for free with the help of the fog. Hello, hello. <laughs> you never learn, do you, Izzy? Eh? <laughs> uh, crime doesn't pay, you know. I don't know what you talk about. Slipping into port on your own without a toe? Well, I hope you run aground. I'll be there, you'll be my salvage. Hey, I know salvage. Okay, 50 most I give you for a toe. Hey, get lost. Not for 500. You'll be worth more as scrap. Well, I did ask about a toe and I did not get a toe, so... <laughs> that is it. I'll get him one day. Anyway, with luck, there should be a few distress calls today, eh? <laughs> Suckers always pay at least double to get him out of trouble. Aha! This looks like money. Ahoy! You need a tow in the port? <laughs> Ahoy! You there ahead. I'm hailing you. Give you a fair price. Get you into port set. Safe. No sound. What's going on? It can't be. Ah, it's the ghosts. It's Big Mac's ghost fleet. Oh no. They can't get me. Oh, I'll let you alone, lads. Don't touch me. It's very foggy, but if I see nobody, nobody can see me. Huh? So I get into port free. It's good. Hey, you watch where you're going. Why they don't answer? It's funny. Ay, caramba, he's a ghost. Oh, don't take me. I got a toe already. He's on his way. Please don't take me. Oh. The ghost tug slid silently into the fog. Zoran was so shaken, he sailed round in a circle and met Izzy again. Oh, 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 oh it's you. <laughs> I've not got far, have you? Amigo, give me a toll. I pay what you want, any price you say. Uh, no, Izzy, my old friend. I'll tell you in for free. I need some company getting back to port. <laughs> OJ returned from escorting two tramp steamers out to sea. Tired and still some way from our pier, he decided to take a shortcut through the inlet where old cranes were kept. The fog gave everything a creepy look. Being out so long in thick fog was playing tricks with him. What's happening? Huh? Yeah. Who's that? What is got about ghosts? Can't be. Look this fog. What's that? Sounds like an engine. A crane working in this stuff. You scuffle butt. Oi! You stupid talk! You sail right between us! You scared the daylights out of us all together! Thought I was a ghost tug, did you? Don't joke about those things! Not saying things, are you? You're beginning to believe those tales you tell. You'll take care, old Jay. Cheerio! Now oh, I'm saying things. They're there. That's the ghost tongues. Right before my eyes. Oh, I hope they don't see me. Top Hat had been out all day, too. It's funny. I can't recognize a thing. Not even hear a foghorn. I can't be right. I'll try once more. Though. No one's replying. When I get back, I'm certainly going to complain to the Port Authority. If I ever get there. Oh, oh what a dinner! Oh, no! I did it! Oh, I see. The rail bridge is silly me. I never thought I'd get as jitter as the others. But I am. Oh, dear, where am I? But if I steer between these trampers, I should be in open water. Yes. 
<sighs> yeah. oh, the ghostly. It's true. They haven't seen me. No, they miss me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What? Oh, no. I'm sorry. That's enough for me. I'm not moving from here till daylight. It's far too dangerous out there. I'll dock here for the night. They won't see me. Miles from home. <laughs> Ten cents and sunshine were taking fuel out to Lily Lightship. Oh, how we're going to find her in this? OJ taught me to wiggle, to keep the breeze on the same cheek all the time. That way you beat the currents, sailing in the right direction. Oh, she can't be too far away now. Hey, hey. What's that? That sounds like ice breaking. It can't be, can it? Oh, I don't like the ten cents. What's happening? You know, what else should I know? It's weird. Look. Oh, jeez. Creepers. Oh, our forehead. Our numbers. Oh, it is. They've come to get us. Oh, look at the water. It's, it's, what oh, the It's, what is it, ten cents? What do we do? Where do I know? Oh, look at that. Oh, it's, it's a galleon, isn't it? sun had burnt off the fog, but Top Hat was still asleep where he tied up. Go! Go away, ghost! No, don't hurt me! Please! Please! Uh, are you... Oh, Grumpus. What are you doing here, Top Hat? What's this about ghosts? What, sorry, did I say ghosts? Oh, I, I must have been dreaming. I lost my bearings in the fog and moored here for the night. Did you hear? <laughs> that is funny. What's so funny? You're only 500 yards from the Starbucks Pier. It's there. Look! Listen, everybody, I've seen ghost tugs for myself. We've all seen them. Ten cents and sunshine is in a galleon, too. But these were ghosts, I assure you. I saw them, really. Silent, phantoms of the sea. So you admit ghosts exist now, Top Hat. Ghosts? What's that about, my dears, hmm? Ghostly white tugs. Yeah, white tugs and a big galleon. And Neptune, I think. Uh... I saw them, too. You're all going crazy, seeing things that aren't there. <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't know what I saw now. <laughs> well, I'll tell you. They're the White Fleet, down here from northern waters on the trail of an iceberg. These tugs sail at times with engines off, listening for cracking ice. There was a wooden galleon frozen in this iceberg, which must have melted in our warmer water. That's why you saw the old vessel bob up to the surface. <laughs> I doubt you saw Neptune, Sunshine. He's for fairy tales. You've let the fog get to you, my dears. <laughs> Hercules, behind you! That's your ghostly galleon. They watched with embarrassment as Burke and Blair towed away the rotting galleon. Later on, Star Tugs found they could laugh about it. But they never forgot the fog that nearly sent them crazy. <laughs>